the economy is looking like it's beginning to reopen on a more persistent basis. And the Russell 2000 benchmark, which is a very broad index, uh, is really starting to outperform relative to other equity asset classes. Just since I was on with you last, uh, the S&P is down over 5 percent, yet the Russell is only down a little over 2 percent in that same period of time. So this movement away from the uh, more very heavy cap-weighted names to a more broadening out of the market is really underway right now. You see the Russell as the reopening of the economy benchmark with a lot of economically sensitive industrials, materials, and consumer discretionary names in there and having yes. a, a bigger share. But with work from home here to stay, even with a vaccine, and spending on things like phones, video games, and especially e-commerce expected to boom, wouldn't tech rebound along with the Russell small caps? Yeah, but, but it's also a matter of valuation. You have much better valuation within the Russell uh, companies as, uh, versus the S&P 500. We, we've talked so much about the most, the, the largest cap weighted names. Uh, there's just been uh, more of a broadening out that I'm starting to see. It also coincides with the dollar beginning to weaken, which really started in July. That's really telling me that global growth is really starting to reaccelerate as well. We're seeing good growth in China. And even, uh, and even in the Eurozone is, uh, is improving as well. So that's going to help the industrials, the materials. And then, of course, uh, also within the Russell is a lot of really good quality uh, consumer names. But really, stock selection is very important because it's not, you know, there's going to be many winners and losers uh, through, this, uh, through this whole process. But, and, and also the Federal Reserve, you can't discount what the Federal Reserve is saying. Their mandates now become to create some level of inflation. And if you look at any periods, any decade periods of time going back to the 1930s, small cap uh, as, an, as an equity asset class relative to other equity asset classes tends to outperform in periods where you have higher levels of inflation. And right, the Fed Dan, is telling you that that's what they're trying to do. Dan, we totally get that. But we also have to address really quick the two big elephants in the room, the potential of a FEMA funds being reallocated for stimulus and also the election. How big of a risk factor are those two things to your thesis? Well, those are not really risks. Those are somewhat tailwinds because, you know, uh, unemployed persons are going to get an $1,800 check in a matter of, uh, of many, many, uh, in a matter of days, really, uh, as funds were diverted to help those, those people. So, so that's going to bolster the consumer sector quite well. Uh, and overall, just, just going to keep confidence going as somewhat of a stopgap measure while Congress is trying to sort out a broader stimulus package. But that's if it happens. If, if what happens? If, that if real, the, reallocation definitely happens. <clears throat> yeah, that is, yeah, that, th those monies are definitely happening. And that just buys you time because we do need, I believe we do need another stimulus bill. They're arguing on, on really the size of it at this point.